Hi everyone, it's Bella. And today I would like to speak to you about the general astrology horoscope potentials for 2023. Can you believe it? <laughs> we have almost arrived. I'd like to begin with a bit of an overview and then move into 2023. The Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn in early 2020 has showed us in action what the abuse of power and top-down power and corruption can look like, even though it has been going on for years. But as time progressed and as we move into the new age of Aquarius at higher frequencies, it will slowly be deconstructed, but not without some hardship. Pluto is in Capricorn until March 23rd of 2023, which will have us exposing corruption, working on deconstructing top-down power, big corporations, and restructuring governments, redistributing power and control structures for another year before it moves more permanently into Aquarius around the end of 2024 where we can possibly expect a world government to emerge directed towards equality and humanitarian reforms or the opposite extreme, dictatorship and a one world order ruled and controlled by also technology that we can only imagine. It will largely depend on the willingness of the people to unite against the forces that would rather separate us. We can possibly expect over the next 20 years or so with Pluto here, changes that include topics in powerful innovation and advancement in penetrating outer space, reality changing discoveries in energy and tech of all fields, very powerful computers, virtual reality, sex changes, how we have intercourse, especially without touch, less human pregnancies, androgyny, a more unisex focus, a possible increase in human deaths can also be expected. Pluto will transform the face of humanity on a global scale, as it is the planet of transformation, purification and regeneration. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was between 1778 and 1798, a revolutionary and transformative period of time that changed the way the world viewed power, money and technology and society as a whole. For example, changes in social order and public rights including the ratification of the American Constitution, the Industrial Revolution, many publishings on women's rights. Aquarian triumphs always sound liberating at first, but will pursue righteousness and revolution at all costs, unaware of the collateral damage at times. As Patrick Watson will say, the French Revolution toppled a bloated monarchy, but its values of rigid nationalism now fail to integrate religious and ethnic differences. The former Soviet Union is ruled by Aquarius, and we will see much more of them, as their ruler also has Pluto, which rules plutonium and nuclear energy on the midheaven in his chart. And Uranus, the modern ruler of Aquarius, rules Uranium. We have to remember that Aquarius is ruled by both Saturn and Uranus. Structure and change, restriction and freedom, extremes, extreme control or extreme freedom. But Pluto is power and Aquarius the people. So Will we take back our power or will we be overpowered? For now, we will be able to see with Pluto dipping its toe into Aquarius, 
much more political action in 2023 for about three months. And we will see more of what we will most likely have to contend with starting in 2024, 2025 and onward, as Pluto will be in Aquarius until 2043, a long, long time. Neptune will be in Pisces until 2025, and we are being prompted also possibly by circumstances we find ourselves in to move into more spiritual awareness, into recognizing each other's similarities and connectedness to each other and the universe, moving towards compassion and unconditional love, not division, racism, or judgment, uniting in wholeness and as part of the divine plan, the new earth. Neptune here in 2022 at 22 degrees, brought about the initiation of a new or symbolic mocking replacement of the Ten Commandments that Moses wrote on stone tablets on Mount Sinai. But the Vatican bringing in a climate repentance new Ten Commandments on November 13th of 2022. This had much to do with also the ancient ruler of Pisces, Jupiter, that spent time here in Pisces in 2022 and moved in and out of Aries where new change is initiated and seeds are planted and taken action on. We may see more developments in this when Neptune officially ingresses Aries itself in 2025, where it was last from 1862 to 1875, which led to efforts in chemistry, drugs, spiritualism, and comparative religion, or tendencies towards self-deception and illusions. Now Uranus will be in Taurus until 2026, and could bring practical innovation designed for utilitarian purposes will continue to electrify the earth, shake up our financial systems and currencies, new coins or memorabilia in in regards to coins as cash will be something that will be eliminated quite soon. And financial systems and currencies moving towards everything digital, technology in the body, tracking and also the carbon footprint comes in here changing not only trade and currencies, but also our values. We will see more online businesses and we will be moving away from touching things as much will be electronically and machine operated as we are already seeing. Even medical visits will become more and more electronic. Nostalgia and tangible items from the good old days could become quite valuable going forward, and especially books. Our value system will be changing and we will not be as concerned with material possessions, greed, and earthly success. And this will again this year in 2023 also be greater emphasized with Mercury retrograding in all earth signs. And this will greatly have us re-evaluating our material world. Uranus rules the primordial realm. And this could indicate, again, more outer space coming inward to Earth, Taurus. Knowledge, our talents and skills will become our new currency. Living authentic lives that are fulfilling to ourselves and those around us will be more what we desire. Food and water supplies, including electricity, could be disrupted as our earth and natural resources will possibly be unstable, and natural phenomena such as earthquakes and other earth events will continue to be more common. Uranus's last transit through Taurus was from 1935 to 1942. And this also coincided with Wonder Woman, K-1, 
Catwoman, The Great Depression, and World War II. An age of dramatic scarcity and unsustainable farming, unprecedented power with the rise of Hitler and Mussolini, bombs on Japan, and this time would also uproot Torian themes in science, culture, money, and diplomacy, as well as farming and food production. Saturn and Pluto's pandemic connection in January of 2020 and Jupiter and Saturn's conjunction in Aquarius on the solstice in December of 2020, also called the Great Reset, or the pandemic opportunity of order out of chaos by some, all starting a new 20-year cycle, finishing a 200-year cycle in dense material earth element, and moved us into a new 200-year cycle into the lighter mental air element. Now, this was and is a significant energy shift, the Great Awakening, which is now moving us into the age of Aquarius. A change in energy frequency and an upgrade in vibration and telepathy. For much of Saturn's transit through Aquarius, we had to cut back that which was unnecessary and growth met with limitations and freedom was blocked by separation and responsibilities also towards others, separation and pushed division between people. A clear choice had to be made between which side you were on and it meant you lost people even family, and you had to choose your tribe. Travel restrictions, supply lines affected, and new legislation regarding aviation and travel, travel passports, etc. affected the world internationally, not to mention the Saturn-Uranus square, which we dealt with all year as well. Now, Saturn will be moving into Pisces as of March 7th of 2023 and will be here until February 2026. As Saturn ingresses Pisces, we can see that its dispositor, Jupiter, will still be in Aries until May 16th. Therefore, the initiating action of a Mars-ruled sign, Aries, with dispositor of Saturn Jupiter in it, with Saturn in the sign of Pisces, which rules contagions, disease, deception, medicine, pandemics, hospitals, endings, deaths, science, the spreading of things, etc. And the modern ruler of Pisces, Neptune, still in Pisces as well. I would say there is a huge possibility, and yet some of yet some new variant or some illness of the man-made kind to be introduced. And since as soon as Saturn moves into Pisces, only a week later, on the 12th of March, Jupiter, its dispositor, will make a conjunction to Chiron, the wounded healer, at 14 degrees of Aries. And during this, Mars will still be in Gemini, where announcements can take place a mutable and spreadable sign, where Mars will then move into Cancer by the 25th of March. Now, Saturn in Pisces can bring a spiritual, yet paranoid energy at times. It can assist with going deeper into subjects, studying in more depth, making better judgments. It can help us to cut addictions or habits that's become really toxic or out of hand. It can help to dissipate illusion, but it can also bring losses. It can have us see astrology become legitimized or the opposite of that. Could there be newly formed religions or may our religious freedom be in jeopardy? And so with other topics of spirituality of similar origin as well. Possible rules or legislation put forth regarding religious and spiritual topics. In 1933, Hitler eradicated churches. Saturn in Pisces brings attention to mental health, 
disease, huge debts, enemies can remain a threat, and marriages can experience more struggles. For some, it can bring on hardship and depression, or a feeling of separateness or hopelessness, even despair, loss of jobs, and sacrifice for a cause. Saturn here can also restrict compassion. Rulers and governments can have many endings, the end of the old, a loss of office, of honor, and of dignity for some, secrets in governments, and secret enemies. Saturn in Pisces marks the end of a cycle of Saturn through the 12 signs of the zodiac. We had Jupiter just finish its 12-year cycle around the zodiac. And now we have Saturn doing its last approximate three-year journey of the zodiac. And we may have to deal with many things that need wrapping up. We may reflect back on the past quite a bit and need to cut our losses and focus on what we can salvage in a practical way and try to finish off that which we may have tried to in the last five to six years but were not able to. Also looking back at the last 27 to 30 years of our lives. That goes for governments as well. But Saturn's arrival in Pisces also culminates a cycle begun in 1996. What led us here and what shape will this finale take? Saturn last toured Pisces between May 1993 and April 1996, with some in retrogrades in between. The transit began with a Senate commission on the effect of violent video games on young minds, with the hit Mortal Kombat. Other dates for Saturn in Pisces, February 14th, 1935 to April 25th, 1937, October 17th, 1937 to January 14th, 1938, March 23rd, 1964 to September 16th, 1964, so you can also go into these dates to get a better idea of what kind of energy we are looking at. So we could expect more topics regarding manifestation and legislation involving cyberspace, virtual reality, virtual sexual experiences, laws on pornography, more media control, religious uprisings and fighting, um, more scientific knowledge coming about, more scientific research and breakthroughs. Also, topics regarding women's issues and minority groups and freedoms, more aviation developments, digital surveillance, health passports, unemployment, topics regarding pharmaceuticals and medicine, unemployment, more suffering, borders merging or changing, legislation and changes regarding government funding with disability, pension, mental health, opioid crisis topics, also euthanasia. We will see changes in music, art, film, photography, engineering, and all entertainment avenues also in institutions of all kinds, such as jails, hospitals, etc. We will see changes in the prices of oil and gas, shortages of fuel and construction materials are highly likely, legislative changes on use of alcohol, drugs, and all kinds of entertainment or escapism and topics of self-undoing. There could possibly be a shortage or difficulty and legislation or rules regarding medicine, restrictions on natural medicine, as it will also be squaring Virgo, pharmaceuticals, there could be also a shortage in medical staff and patients may need to wait longer to get scans and certain procedures done, even though there will be much more technology development going forward. More flooding and water on oceanic disasters, 
um, or oceanic disasters could be seen. Shortages on clean water, loss at sea, gender and identity issues and legislation, um, mass migration and worldwide travel changes, oil spills are highly possible. While Saturn is in Pisces, the sign of the Messiah manifested, overall it can bring grounding and practical solutions to our idealism and return us to a realistic approach whilst being strong in our spirituality. It can lessen confusion, even though there may be quite the split between approaches here, as Pisces is a dualistic sign, according to also Judith Hill, medically, we could look at Saturn here bringing possible slower lymphatics, which can lead to toxic buildup, thickening of lung tissue, dampening of lungs, suicidal ideology, amongst others. Therefore, I would highly recommend to do regular detoxing and to become much more aware of what you put in and on your body. Take a holistic approach to this as much as you are able to. Saturn in Pisces can be channeled productively to cut that which no longer works, to finish the dealings of the past, to finish the healing, bring in the forgiveness, stop the self-sabotage, to stop the confusion and the martyring, and practically start implementing steps to our manifested future, to put a foundation under those dreams. Now, Jupiter will be back in Aries until May 16th, 2023. And this is where we are learning to create our own opportunities. On the 16th of May, it will ingress earthy Taurus to eventually conjunct Uranus in 2024. More on that conjunction at a later date, or we may be here all day. Jupiter will be in Taurus until the 25th of May, 2024. And this is where many of the new changes that have been ignited while Jupiter was in Aries will start to gain momentum and growth. This is where these ideas take shape and are built up and given form and made more real. Digital currency, agriculture, food production, land use and ownership, oil and gas, carbon footprint, indigenous land ownership, all of it can be coming up as significant topics to be dealt with. Investments will need to take a more patient approach and gold could become a better investment opportunity. We could see changes in salaries as well. So if you think back at about 12 years ago when Jupiter was in Taurus, and this will give you an idea of the type um, and area of changes we can expect again in some different way. You can also look at where Jupiter is in your natal chart as it will also include that placement coming to Taurus in some way. Jupiter here can have us chase indulgence and can make us overly lazy and sugar crazy. <laughs> We will have to watch overspending, overeating, and where we invest, what we eat, how we spend our money, what we wear. Travel may be grounded at times or become very expensive. International banking changes can be highly likely. They are already introducing eating insects or man-made meats, etc. And Jupiter rules exotic and foreign ideas. You could put that with Taurus and we could see this become a reality worldwide in our everyday lives quite soon. Food prices can go up even more as Jupiter expands and grows everything it touches. Therefore, we may be continuing to pursue the idea of growing our own food and natural medicine and getting back to basics in Taurus. Growing our like-minded communities, our values will come into play quite powerfully now, especially regarding our children 
and we will have to create our own opportunities, also in regards to employment as much as possible. Now the nodes will be moving from earth and water, Taurus and Scorpio, feminine energy, to fire and air, Aries and Libra, a masculine energy. From 18 July 2023 to the 11th of January 2025, an 18-month period, even though many other energies will be mostly feminine in 2023. Now, in 1939 and 1940, it was the North Node in Libra and the South Node in Aries. We have war and peace energies here. Mars and Venus, you and I, us and them. Therefore, all relationships will have the challenge to create balance and peace between the two extremes. The North Node in Aries, after Jupiter has cruised through here, will most likely bring a new, powerful, potential leader to the world stage. The North Node will most likely push our collective attention towards self-development, independence, trusting our impulses. We may need courage, constructive self-interest, moderation in giving, self-nurturance, assertion, action, self-employment, bravery, expanding our natural gifts and talents, acting in authenticity, and standing up for our rights and freedoms. There is a fire ignited inside of us this year. The South Node in Libra can bring strain in social interactions, also in world affairs internationally, more discord and fighting, difficulty in compromise and sharing, therefore cooperation, diplomacy, Fairness, justice, and peace could be harder to come by. Aries and Libra are cardinal signs. They initiate change and mark the world axis. Therefore, the year of 2023 marks some of the most intense astrology since 2020, with outer planets such as Pluto and Saturn also changing signs. We will have eclipses, in May and April, as well as October. We will have one more eclipse in Taurus, one in in, um, Aries, and then also one still in Scorpio and one in Libra. Now, this age, the age of Aquarius, might take you to a road less traveled as you follow the unconventional way. But Aquarius is not there to conform to others' ideas of what is acceptable. Aquarius has revolutionary vision of new possibilities, requires freedom, and has the determination to make it happen for everyone. This age will and has already begun with plenty of unusual events, sometimes shocking, but alternative methods will become more normal for us. It will be moving us into a mental energy, possibly more intuitive, and able to access higher knowledge easier. Wave energy of all kinds, unconventional and alternative energy medicine, medical experiments, and advanced medical innovations, aviation innovations, and much faster travel, travel into outer space, and more outer space encounters solar energy, and other alternative methods. We will also possibly experience more fallen asteroids as heaven will be brought to earth while Uranus is in Taurus. God will be speaking to man through earth events and astrology will possibly become much more widely studied and used and our understanding as a whole will become much more synthesized. There will be more developments towards artificial intelligence, tracking, flying vehicles, a robotic age, including the police, 
where humans will not be doing repetitive jobs and they will not be studying many years in order to learn, as they will simply be downloading their knowledge. There will be a more a move towards the rebalance of wealth and property ownership. Art and music and creativity will be more cherished, as this will hopefully not be attempted to be 100% replaced by computers. Practical life skills will be worth gold. The art here will be to curb ourselves from becoming dehumanized and to continue to teach our children the ways of old. More people will be inclined to stay single and people will tend to live longer with all the medical innovation taking place. Aquarius will remind us that even though we are part of a community as a whole, we are unique individuals first, and your unique energy is vital to the group. The water bearer brings the living water and spirit of the divine and pours it out onto earth in order to spiritually supply and regenerate man and earth. Some individuals will possibly love the merge of technology and humans, and others will possibly decide to network in natural community settings, living off the earth, sharing resources, but also having much space. It will be up to us to decide which world it is going to be. One separated from its natural form, each other and the divine, or one of unity, mutual respect and unconditional love, closer to the divine and living with nature. 2023 starts with a bit of a more slower inward approach with both Mercury and Mars retrograde and we will start picking up more momentum by the middle to the end of January. Much of the blockages we have dealt with in the last 18 months or so may open up more for us to allow breakthrough and changes around March, April when Saturn ingresses Pisces and moves out of that sign square to Uranus. And the Saturn-Uranus square we had for such an extended time becomes more of a harmonious sextile aspect. Regardless, we will need to streamline, cut what no longer works for us, do the work, do the healing, the forgiving, listen to our feelings and what lights us up and who lights us up and align our lives to our higher soul purpose and journey onward, creating more fulfilling and joy-filled authentic lives based on freedom and truth. Being present in the moment, accepting that which is, accepting responsibility for our share in the creation of our current reality. How do you want to move forward? What would you like to actively create and change and let go of towards more freedom in 2023? What is freedom to you? And as Brene Brown explains, the dark does not destroy the light. It defines it. It's our fear of the dark that casts our joy into the shadows. And with the North Node in Aries from the middle of the year onwards, we will be much more brave to face that darkness. And as Dovid Krafcho puts it, the power of death, endings, purification, and change is equal to the power of life, breath, and new beginnings. Each is like night and day, an essential part of the whole. I'll end with Isaiah 14.27. All the forces of darkness cannot stop what God has ordained. Thank you so much for listening. 
Please like, share and subscribe. May the sun shine brightly on you today. And may there be blessings coming your way. And God's divine protection over you and your loved ones in 2023. Until next time, stay in gratitude, ground in nature, and spend time in prayer. Bye-bye.